What's up, guys? Success to guy here from my Italian TV. Just wanted to come back around and show you the inside of the V686. Have it going on right here. Uh, you can see that pretty well. Took out a total of three on each side for 12, and then six in the middle. 18 screws total to get it like this. You would also have to take out all 18 if you want to replace the motors. These are eight by 20 millimeter motors with one millimeter pinion shaft. As you can see right here, I was sent a bad quadcopter from Gear Best, so make sure you don't go ahead and go through them. Pick anybody else because I am still grounded, unable to use my quad due to their faulty PCM board. It's all nonsense, but let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got the motor, of course. These ones are clockwise, indicated with black. No, these are clockwise. These are counterclockwise. I'm sorry about that. And we got over here, we got the LED strip for the bottom. You can see they're usually very bright. We got four of those, very basic. And we got one tail light that blinks. Where is that? There it is. That would be the tail one that blinks. As you can see, the board, the antenna is right here. Very small antenna, looks very gentle, so you may want to mess with that. But as you can see on the board, there's really nothing to it. It is very tiny, very small, a JST connector for the battery terminal. We spin it on the inside. You can see the middle tab. If you actually take that out, you could fit a bigger battery into there. I was going to attempt that and stick two batteries in there from this quadcopter, giving me a total of like. 1560 MAHs, which should do some decent time up in the air. I'm guesstimating good 13 minutes. Hopefully that works out, but that's another video to come. So I just want to give you a quick glance over what it looks like on the inside. You can see the terminals and what wires. We got the red and blue there, or the red and black for that connection. Then we got black and white. And then we got the red and blue, black and white. As you can see, the black and white is just all meant for the LEDs on each one. So, And on this side, you can see black and white, or red and black, and then we got the black and white, and then we got the red and blue, and then the black and red for the LED. You can see the board? Nothing to it. Just to get a base, this is the rear side. This is the rear, that's the front, so if you forgot where your plugs go... Now you know, wish you could focus a little better, I need to get on my other camera. Anyway, there you have it. This is the Guy from My Tiny TV saying, don't forget to like and subscribe, and request what else you want to see.